So we're going to talk about this Kurt Zuma thing. Everyone's been messaging me to talk about this. I have talked about topics like this before, and he's recently been fined £250,000 for abusing his cat. Now, I've seen the video, he kicks the cat across the, the kitchen floor and he slaps the cat in the face. Look, it looks bad. It was bad. It was just overt abuse of a cat who was in his care. Now, the RSPCA have taken the cats away. But what I find especially interesting about this case here is going to the comment section. I always have, you know, a good time in the comment section here. Looking at how people should act when they see images of animals being abused. Now I've been investigating farms and exposing farms on my channel from other investigators for years, for years. But when I do it, look at this, look at this cruelty here. I usually get comments like, you know, bacon though, or, you know, yeah, but they taste good. And, oh yeah, but maybe we should do it more humanely. And, or don't you know, we've been eating animals for thousands of years. And all of these excuses come up to justify the horrible abuses that happen on mass in factory farms. Now, after reviewing the, the video of Kurt Zuma abusing his cat, I thought to myself, wow, I've been exposed to so much cruelty and so much egregious abuse in factory farming that most people actually support, that that there looks like quite a mild case of abuse, quite mild, in comparison, okay? In and of itself, yeah, it's bad, and that cat didn't deserve that, but in comparison, that's pretty mild compared to what you see on farms and in abattoirs all across the world as standard procedure, as standard. It's like, oh, wait a second. Did that guy just kick his cat? That's horrible. But, you know, bolt gunning a cow in the head, gas chambering a pig, snipping the beak off of an uh, egg laying hen, totally fine. That's morally passable as long as I get my eggs, my bacon, my steak or my dairy. What I do find interesting is the RSPCA is getting involved. He's being investigated. He could face up to four years prison. I don't think he will. He'll probably get a slap on the wrist. To be honest, £250,000 fine is not very much for him. I think he makes like £29 million a year, maybe. So not much. It's two weeks' pay for him. But RSPCA gets involved. The RSPCA? Wait a second. They have recipes for chopped up animal bodies on their website. They actually have slaughter guidelines on their website of how to kill animals. But you know, abusing a cat, kicking a cat once, slapping a cat once, you know, just unacceptable. Chopping an animal up and eating them, totally fine. So let's go through these comments. Abuse to the poor cats done in front of an impressionable child and role model to thousands of young people. He shouldn't have allowed, been allowed to play. How many will now think it's funny and okay to treat, treat an animal that way after seeing their role model acting in that way? Uh, so Carol's talking about uh, the fact that, you know, he's a role model and he shouldn't be abusing animals, you know, because he, his children are going to learn to abuse animals and everyone that looks up to him might abuse animals. Interesting, Carol. I hope that you don't pay for animals to be abused in factory farms and slaughterhouses so you can eat their bodies or their byproducts because that would be quite hypocritical of you. But how about this? How about, like, let's just say he abused that cat, but I paid him to abuse that cat, you know, and I said, can you please just kick that cat for my entertainment, for my pleasure? Because when you pay someone to kill a pig for your taste pleasure, that's I would say that's morally worse. That's morally worse than him kicking his cat. Because the, the outcome of that action is way worse for the animal. He needs to be sacked. Why would we want him to represent our national game as an animal abuser who laughed whilst hurting the cats? Oh, so we laughed while hurting the cats. You know, I've seen plenty of video from inside slaughterhouses of people torturing animals and stomping on turkeys and just doing horrible things and also laughing. But you know what they sell at these football games? What do they sell? Burgers, bacon sandwiches. They have barbecues there. They're, they're burning the body parts, charring the remains of animals who suffered in horrible factory farms. UK has horrible factory farms, the vast majority of them. America, Brazil, France, where this soccer player is from. They have gas chambers in France, gassing pigs. You know, just horrible, horrible cruelty, but when you see it happen on camera to a cat, people love cats. You know, we talk about this all the time. Speciesism, the discrimination of animals based on their species. If you do mild abuse, I would consider it mild compared to what happens to piglets when they get thumped on the ground uh, to cull them in farms. I mean, we can't show you images of this, but thumping happens when a pig, say they, they're not growing, they're a bit sick, they're not growing fast enough for the farmer, they might have an injury, the farmer will come along, grab them by the hind legs and smash their head on the corner of a wall 
or on the ground, it's called blunt force trauma, you can look it up, to kill them. Or in the dairy industry in Australia, if a calf is under 24 hours old, they can kill them with blunt force trauma on the farm in Australia. How's that? So they can smash calves in the head with a hammer, all right? And that's under the, uh, gu- and, and this is the guidelines saying that, so you can imagine what they do outside of the guidelines. But kicking a cat, remember, totally totally horrible. I agree. I don't like, if I seen someone kick a cat, you know, it would be, it would be on. I would probably, I would intervene. It could be a physical altercation, but we just got to just look at the hypocrisy. Everyone that's against what this guy did are paying for horrible abuses. And when vegans actually show people, you know, the footage of what happens to animals and farms, we're met with stupid justifications. And if I tried to use those same justifications for his actions, you would probably lose the plot at me. You'd be very angry. Dan Needham. So I wonder if Dan Needham is an activist. I doubt it. Uh, you know, probably eats steak and bacon and eggs and milk. And he says he should have been sent down. Abuse is not tolerated in any form. Well, okay. Well, I guess you're a vegan then. You know, I guess you're definitely not paying for horrible, egregious suffering and abuse. Uh, pigs in farrowing crates and you know dairy cows having uh, being repeatedly raped and having their their calves taken from them um, being used and exploited for their milk and then sent to the slaughterhouse to be bolt gunned in the head and cut up into pieces their skin turned into a leather jacket i hope you're not supporting that because abuse is not tolerated in any form it's interesting that when these cat and dog abuse videos come out you just go through the comment section and everyone turns into an activist it's great i like to see that because it shows me you know these are good people they're just morally confused. They've just been brought up to see certain animals as food, as products, as entertainment, as testing subjects, and cats and dogs, and elephants, and other animals as sentient conscious beings that should be respected and have their rights respected and shouldn't be kicked and slapped. So this is just interesting psychology and you can actually see it in action. So I encourage people to look at these comments and just look at their psychology, like it's really interesting. So let's have a look. Hazel says, not the first time he's done it, sick. It's abuse. No other word for it. What a, what's funny about kicking, slapping, and terrorizing your own pets? Should be banned from keeping any animals again. You know, I don't think it's funny, and I think I agree with you. I agree with Hazel here. I just hope Hazel doesn't pay for the abuse of animals in the dairy industry who are slapped and kicked, and, you know, I've seen sexual abuse happen outside of the horrible AI process, which is just a fist in the cow's anus. They jack off uh, bulls, or they, they use a big electro ejaculator. They stick it in the bull's anus to get the semen, and it forces the bull to ejaculate. Um, there's horrible uh, mutilations that happen, like disbudding or dehorning, de- where they clip the horns off of calves, or they use um, caustic paste, which is like burns their skin to get to remove horns. Just, you name it. Like, there's mutilations and torture galore that happen on these farms. Hazel, I hope you're a, a vegan, or, a, or at least a minimum a vegan, and by the sounds of it, you should be an animal rights activist. Margaret says, good news. Hope he gets banned for keeping any animal well, do you think anyone who abuses animals should be banned from keeping any animal? What about someone who pays for the abuse? What if I just paid him to attack that cat? Would I be just as responsible? Because if you're paying for people to abuse pigs and chickens and fish, the fishing industry is another horrible one. I mean, God, they grab the fish with a massive trawling net, all different species, right? And it could be dolphins, it could be sea turtles, but it's all these fish, right? No matter what species they are, they all feel pain, suffer, and they don't want to die. So they get dropped onto a boat and crushed under the weight of thousands, tens of thousands of other fish, and they suffer to death on the deck of a boat. And there's no slaughter guidelines on boats. There's no slaughter guidelines on fishing vessels. They hook them in the face, drag them up, and just let them suffer and die. And I've seen horrible things happen in, in the fishing industry. These machines that, that have the, the fish go through and they get scaled alive and gutted alive. You know, just sickening abuse happens to fish. You better not be paying for that. Uh, hope West Ham donates his fine to the RSPCA. Well, the RSPCA have an RSPCA assured label that they stamp on flesh from animals who are killed in slaughterhouses and gas chambers. And, you know, they, they even approve culling of male chicks via maceration, which is a massive blender that blends up all the male chicks who will not produce eggs for the egg industry or gassing them, gassing little chicks. The RSPCA do a bunch of that. So, yeah, no, good on you, RSPCA. Thanks for giving us those slaughter guidelines that allow us to murder animals and then putting your little RSPCA assured stamp on there. You know, but they look after dogs and cats, the ones they don't send off to be euthanized. Two weeks wages, he won't even see it gone missing. Should go to prison. So he should go to prison for kicking the cat. Then what do you think should happen to those people who are factory farming chickens and pigs and cows? If you think he should go to uh, prison for one instance of abuse of a cat, 
or two instances of abuse of a cat, what do you think should happen to animal agriculture in the fishing industry? Trillions of animals abused and tortured and killed every single year. They should be having their own Nuremberg trial. These people should be going to prison forever. They only exist because you pay them. Who would want him to represent their football team? Someone who abuses animals. I agree. Why would you want him to represent your football team? You know what I mean? But every time you sit down to dine on the flesh of innocent animals, you are committing the exact same atrocity worse than what he's doing to that cat. It's just because, you know, you can see him doing it. You're like, wow, that's bad. But when you buy a steak, you actually don't see the cruelty down the line, do you? You don't see it. So you don't think it exists? You don't think that you're contributing to it by buying it? 100% you are. Supply and demand. So let's keep going. Let's not forget his brother is just as bad for filming it and laughing. He needs punishment too. So his brother filmed it and he's responsible. So, so he wasn't even directly involved, his brother. He just filmed it, right? And you think he should be punished as well. Wow, that's interesting. So if you, if you secondhand participate in animal abuse, secondhand, like one step removed, you should be punished as well? What do you think should happen to people who support the worst animal abuse on earth? Do you think they should be punished? People who give thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to facilitate the systematic abuse, the rape and the torture and the gas chambering and the mutilations of thousands of innocent beings over the course of their life, do you think they should be punished too? You know, looking at all these, these comments, like, look at them. Just they want justice. They want justice for this cat. This is what I like to see. Why can't we all get together, all of you who support animal agriculture, and just join forces with us and help us stop the worst cruelty on earth that happens in far greater numbers on the daily and it's completely legal. What this guy did to this cat is illegal, right? But what they do to pigs and chickens and cows and fish and lambs is completely legal. We get called crazy and militant for asking people to stop supporting it. We get called crazy and militant for going onto farms and filming the abuse and exposing it, right? When I upload a video of me uh, in a farm and showing you dead animals and what happens to animals in these little crates that they have to bear piglets in, I get met with abuse, threats, people laughing at me, um, ridiculing me, and I'm not here for a poor me sympathy story. I'm just saying the hypocrisy is so strong, right? Coming from me who's just witnessed it on my page, I get abused every single day, right, for exposing cruelty. As soon as it's a cat, as soon as it's a dog, the public want blood. They want this person to suffer, go to prison. They want karma for this person. But as soon as it's a pig, a cow, a fish, a lamb, people will attack the messenger who's trying to stop the cruelty versus joining with me and helping stop the cruelty. How insane. And it's always protect the farmers, protect the farmers, you know, protect the ones who are abusing the animals for money that I give them. It's just the double standards are insane and crazy. So Francis says, abusing an animal over and over and a family filming it and finding it funny, absolute disgrace. And that poor small child, I'm guessing his fans will think it's okay to kick a cat. Well done, Kurt Zuma, really a role model. So basically people are upset that he's, he's basically teaching his children to abuse animals. Parents all across the world feed their child the tortured body parts of chickens and fish and pigs and never tell them that that was actually an animal who, who was executed, okay? So what are you teaching that kid growing up? Eating certain animals, that abusing certain animals is okay, but abusing the cats and the dogs is wrong. That's why people grow up confused, okay? You're saying that it's he's a bad role model for abusing the cat in front of his kids. I agree with you. But it's just as confusing to feed kids animal abuse, tortured animals from factory farms, majority are from factory farms, fish that are dragged out the sea, and kids watching Nemo and Peppa Pig, and they love animals, right? And no, no parent really... A lot of parents do, but most parents never tell their kid what they're actually eating. And don't you think that's pretty bad? I think that's pretty bad. I think that that's like lying to them. That's like having the child participate in something they're morally against. And then they grow into these confused, conflicted people, adults, who have cognitive dissonance about animal abuse. Some animal abuse is wrong. Animal abuse is okay as long as I get a steak or a bacon sandwich out of it. And then we have a confused society. So yeah, I can encourage you to, to read up on this and if you want to hit the comments section of any of these, uh, I was reading the comments from the Mirror post on Facebook. 
But there's some lessons we can draw from this. Always look for the lessons in this. I've been reading up on these stories for a long time and pointing out the hypocrisy there. Because when you talk about animals, different species of animals, the hypocrisy is just so connected. When you talk about abusing a cat's wrong, abusing a pig's okay as long as I get a bacon sandwich, that is just so blatant to me. It has to be spoken about. And uh, I encourage other people to talk about this as well. And look, the lessons we draw from this is animal, animal abuse unjustifiable animal abuse should be condemned. Yes, with cats, with dogs, with pigs, with fish, with goats and lambs and dairy cows, okay? It all should be condemned. If anything, right, what this man did to that cat is nowhere near comparable to what happens to animals so people can eat them. And, and if you think I'm wrong for saying that, then you don't know anything about animal agriculture. It is way worse than what this cat had to endure, even though this cat should not have had to endure that and he should the cat should have been taken from his care and he should have been fined, and he should get in trouble for this. But by that standard, we should also condemn all other forms of animal exploitation and cruelty for unjustifiable reasons. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. What do you think about this? Do you think it's completely hypocritical? What do you think should happen to this Kurt Zuma? I think he should be in trouble. What do you think about the hypocrisy and people being outraged with certain types of animal cruelty, but not? where most of the animal cruelty is happening. Leave your comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.